SM has announced that Seungan is currently preparing to debut as a solo artist in the second half of 2025. No, no, no! Isna, the group formed through survival show Island 2, Isna. is set to make their debut soon under Wake 1 Entertainment. They've recently unveiled images for their debut mini album, which immediately garnered backlash for being way too similar to New Jeans' Oh My God album. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, this do look a little suspect. New <laughs> Jeans reportedly sent a legal notice to Adore, warning that they would terminate their contracts if their requests were not met within 14 days of receiving the certified letter. Oh According to gosh. these sources, all five members... DX is Vex in the Flesh and I'm back with another reaction video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today, we got more K-pop junkie with the latest and the greatest K-pop news. Today's title is The Boys Assaulted by Sasang? New Jeans Termination? <laughs> Don't do this, bro. What do you mean, New Jeans termination? NCT Dream Apology, Sung Han solo debut. Wait, what you mean, Sung Han solo debut? Bro, what the fuck has been going on this week? If I'd been that tuned out? Now, I haven't been scrolling on TikTok this, this week as much as I usually do because I've been actually posting videos on the tube, bro. Anyways, let's get into this week's news. I don't know what's going on in K-pop right now, but it sounds like a lot going on. The boys have just revealed a terrifying incident that took place just last week. IST put out a statement detailing that on November 9th, member Sunwoo was approached by a Sasang after a schedule who was hiding in the emergency stairwell. Feeling threatened, what? Sunwoo immediately informed the staff who together apprehended the intruder to hand them over to the police. During the process of trying to prevent an escape, both Sunwoo and the manager were repeatedly assaulted. Luck Bro, come on, get a life. The Sasang was arrested on charges of trespassing and assault, and investigations are currently underway. Bro, it's no way you got an assault charge for no reason. Like, what were you? What was you gonna gain from this? That's what I want to know. Like, what genuinely? What was you gonna gain from this other than being in the in the newspaper for not even a good reason? They said they naming you Sasang. They didn't even put your fucking name, Goofy. <laughs> like, Sunwoo and the manager were both evaluated and treated at the hospital, and he would tell the fans that this is an issue that has gone too far. He's been shocked and mentally exhausted for the past few days, and says there will be absolutely no leniency. He then thanks fans for getting him through it and not to worry too much. IST explains that this is not the only incident that has taken place recently. A GPS tracker was found on one of their vehicles, and another vehicle had their tires deliberately damaged. Fortunately, what? both were discovered early, and CCTV footage was retrieved. Bro, that is so dangerous. Not even just the GPS, but damaging somebody's tires is like literally crazy. That's wild. Because what happened if something happened to the tires and they get in a wreck, they end up, God forbid, passing away? Bro, you know the type of jail time you're going to face is going to be crazy, nigga? Like, people are literally, like, you literally gain nothing from doing this stuff. Damaged. Fortunately, both were discovered early, and CCTV footage was retrieved. The no. boys have also been in the headlines as 100 Entertainment, co-founded by MC Mung, has confirmed that the members will all be moving over to their company together after their contracts with IST end. It's okay. said that trademark rights are currently being discussed, which will determine if the boys will continue promoting using their group name. We also now know what the future holds for former RISE member Sung Han. Of course, after a 10-month hiatus due to backlash regarding photos and rumors from his private life before debut, which weren't even that serious, SM then announced that Sung Han would be rejoining the group. Yeah. While many celebrated this, others began boycotting it, even sending funeral wreaths to the company. And they weirdos. The uproar got to a point where it ultimately caused Sung Han to announce that he will be permanently leaving the group for the sake of the members and their fans. Well, this week, SM has announced that Sung Han is currently preparing to debut as a solo artist in the second half of 2025. No, no, no! Oh my gosh! Like, this literally pissed me off because they literally not reading the fucking room, my nigga! Like, literally, we've been tell like, oh my gosh, bro. They would have been better just leaving it how it is. Like, bro, we want him either a part of Rise or... Nah, we not even gonna say not at all. Because we want him as a part of Rise. That's literally what the room is saying right now, bro. Like, we literally gave you... Like, we literally told you. They was boycotting. Like, bro, what are we doing? You trying to find, like, a happy medium. Or oh, y'all probably sitting in the, in the office... 
I don't know what SM got going on, bro. SM probably sitting in the office and they like, we got some people who don't want him to come back, but we got a lot of people who still want to see him. How can we get money out of this? Like that, like y'all niggas are really pissing me off, bro. Like what was this? And then whenever they was addressing the situation, I remember it very, very vividly. They kept saying, we don't want to confuse fans. You got us confused like a motherfucker. I feel like I'm walking through a mirror maze right now, nigga. What is going on, bro? Hey, Sunghan, I hope you have a successful career, but this is not like, this not what the fans want because you are a part of Rise. That's what people want to see. You already worked really, really hard to be a part of Rise. You didn't do nothing wrong, bro. And I know you probably like, this probably the best solution because I get my chance, but no, bro, it's not the same. Like, it's not the same feeling. It's not the same. You didn't train for this moment right here. Like <laughs> New Jeans' future, however, is now unclear. This week, New Jeans reportedly sent a legal notice to Adore warning that they would terminate their contracts if their requests were not met within 14 days of receiving the certified letter. Oh According to these sources, all five members submitted the document under their legal names based on alleged violations of their exclusive contracts and all signed the final page. Now, the specific demands were under disclosed, but one outlet claims that among many other things, the girls requested action to be taken against Hype's previous statement in their internal reports about throwing new jeans away and starting anew, a formal apology from the manager who told another group to ignore Hani, Adore has now confirmed that they did receive the legal notice, and will be reviewing the contents. They will do their best to resolve the issues wisely and continue their relationship with the artists. In the girls' messages of support for students taking the college entrance exams, they've alluded to all of this telling fans who quote may have been surprised by the news not to worry about them speaking of the college we worry what the hell you mean don't worry like bro this is the equivalent to you going through some stuff in your life your personal life and you telling your best friend don't worry about it no nigga we worry nigga because we care like how you gonna get us all involved we literally love new g's like we all bunnies bro like what's going on bro no bro what's the end, the, the end of the year was going so well. Why? <laughs> May have been surprised by the news not to worry about them. Speaking of the college entrance exams, Baskin Robbins Korea released a new flavor called Lucky Vicky Mochi, shaped like a four-leaf clover, That's as fire. a treat for students who were preparing. If that sounds familiar to you, the phrase Lucky Vicky was created by Won Young using her English name Vicky, referring to her positive outlook on life. Because of this, the brand came under scrutiny for utilizing her catchphrase without Dang. proper permission when Won Young is not associated with the company. Baskin Dang. Robbins would then put out a formal apology, explaining they did not carefully consider the need for prior consultation with the artists involved during the planning process they will make what you mean so you got a catchphrase from somebody who's already got a name a brand they famous and you thought hey we just go use her brand we go use her catchphrase and we gonna break like what nah it's no saying i apologize like as a brand in 2024, you know, bro. Like, let's not be act like y'all. Let's not act like we stupid, bro. <laughs> consider the need for prior consultation. If this was like an actual like TV show or something like that, they would not hesitate to make sure. If this was Coca Cola, they would not hesitate. Like, come on, bro. Like, this is just open disrespect. They thought they could get away with it, but because they got backlash, now they apologize. Like, Robbins on, would bro. then put out a formal <laughs> apology, explaining they did not carefully consider the need for prior consultation with the artists involved during the planning process. They will make sure this doesn't happen again, removed any social media posts about the new flavor, but said okay. the new product will continue to be sold until stock runs out. Let's go back to New Jeans for okay, a bit, okay, because okay. two separate allegations of other groups copying or plagiarizing New Jeans has now been addressed. Isna, the group formed through survival show Island 2, Isna. is set to make their debut soon under Wake 1 Entertainment. Leading up to it, they've recently unveiled images for their debut mini album, which immediately garnered backlash for being way too similar to New Jeans Oh My God album. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, this do look a little suspect. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this do look a little. Cause at first I was trying to look which one was which, and that's why. That's why I was trying to figure out which one was which, and then I I had to analyze for a little minute. I could barely tell the difference. I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of. But. <sighs> I don't know how how y'all feel about this. I genuinely want to know y'all's opinion on this. Cause part of me is like, 
how can this like i can see how this could be considered copying but on the other hand it's like this style can be replicated multiple times like i don't know like and i don't want isn't to get no hate for this because they didn't create the you know what i'm saying like whenever i be seeing like copying and stuff like this it's never on the girls or the group and i want y'all to understand that it's never on the girls or the group because they're not the ones who got say so on the covers and all of that stuff like the art and stuff like that the criticisms escalated enough for wake one to respond to the situation saying they have decided to replace the design entirely they will be more careful in the future so that this doesn't happen again of course the accusations of islet plagiarizing new jeans is something we've been hearing for a while now this yeah. time a news outlet has obtained a report said to be the debut plans for islet which have very similar strategic directions for example new jeans document emphasizes a teen influencer approach while Owlet focuses on quote creators even the documents themselves are said to have very similar designs including the font and layout however in response to this b -Lift lab denies these accusations explaining that they received the debut plans for new jeans on august 28th That's 2023 but had already finished pilot's debut plans by july 21st 2023 well yeah, before new reach. jeans plans were shared additionally islet's creative director has filed another lawsuit this week against min hee jin and other former adore executives over the plagiarism allegations moving on as Damn. we mentioned in the previous video nct the thing is i feel like islet never gonna get a break from the plagiarism stuff unless they completely completely change a you know what i'm saying like vision and scope of like what they trying to do and i feel like that would literally like drown the girls out like you know like they in a low-key like impossible situation and i hate that it's it came to this because the girls don't deserve that let's be honest the girls don't deserve that um i really don't know like rarely do i ever just not have a solution i feel like for their whole career unless they just become legends in terms of music and stuff like that even if they do i feel like especially bro especially if new jeans end up like disbanding oh my gosh that's gonna be really really bad especially if like if new jeans this band and Islet end up being a group that like is really really good it's not gonna look good i feel like it's gonna be so hard for them to dodge those allegations just because it's been so it's been pushed on them so much over the plagiarism allegations. let me know y'all's opinions Moving on, as we mentioned in the previous video nct dream just made a comeback with their album dreamscape despite yeah, I gotta their check out some of their schedule songs. and being overseas when the album dropped in korea they still decided to do a live stream for the fans however this live stream saw a bunch of criticism and complaints many were upset that the live stream was late at night some were criticizing the choreography and other fans were mad that the members seemed to be ignoring them and just chatting amongst themselves the negative Bro, they can't chill, nigga. Negative comments are so <laughs> overwhelming that several members have now addressed them and even apologized. Hey Chun says that he knows that their albums, especially the most recent one, caused a lot of disappointment from fans. Every album can't be perfect, but they and the exactly. company apologize for not creating a better quality album and using the excuse of not having a lot of time. Jeno would go on Bubble apologizing to fans who have been disappointed by various matters. He says he knows they can't please everyone, but will talk to the company and the members to improve the situation. Jeno also wants fans to know that the group and the company are really doing their best. Yeah. Mark then went on Weverse to share a long message. In it, he explained how excited he was for their release and why the live stream was so late at night due to time miscalculations while they were in London. Mark said he Give noticed a, a lot of negative comments talking about the members' sincerity and attitude regarding this comeback. He understands why fans feel this way and say those things, but hopes that this doesn't make anyone question the group's overall sincerity or dedication. That despite a demanding schedule, every one of them put their hearts and passion into this album. Mark says it's heartbreaking to face this unexpected situation right after the release and reiterates yeah. how excited he truly was for this comeback. He ends it by saying let's cheer each other on during music shows once they come back from Europe. Finally, it has unfortunately been announced that Third Eye has officially disbanded due to Third their eye. contracts expiring as of August 1st of this year. See, I feel like some of the news don't be hitting me as hard because some of the like older groups or groups that I don't know like they haven't disbanded yet but once i feel like i've been in k-pop for a while in like some of the groups like new jeans if new jeans disband i ain't gonna lie i might sit here and cry we might do a new jeans marathon and just go through every single song hour-long reaction bro I, it's gonna hurt my heart if new jeans yeah bro like i'm not gonna lie that's gonna hurt
So I could see how, like, if you was a huge fan of some of these groups, I almost just got, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is tough. Let's move on to some <laughs> positive things we can celebrate yeah, Jane in had a comeback. like comebacks and releases since the last video, Should I check out Jane's comeback? Jane's first solo album, Lovely's 10th anniversary single, Big Ocean, Eve, Mama Moose Hwasa, Vivi, Yuna, Classy is finally back after two years, and of course, ATs have also made their triumphant return. Yeah. Music show wins include Kepler. Let me know y'all's opinions on the ATs album. I did drop a reaction over here and on the patreon i want to know everybody's opinions um what projects should we check out i think i did a community post and some of y'all were saying mama move we got to check out taking them. home their first trophy for their new song and txt earning Kepler. first on show champion and music bank congrats to baby monster achieving their very first billboard 200 jail, entry jail, with their jail, latest album jail. drip an <laughs> awesome achievement after having the honor of opening for 21 at their reunion concert which is also where ahyeon had the biggest panic of her career so far Oh no. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's messed up. Okay. Oh, innocent mistake, innocent mistake. I ain't gonna lie, this was so so refreshing. Despite all of the bad news, um this episode of K-pop Junkie reminded me that I've been doing YouTube for a while now. And it feels good to know some of the groups, what's going on, be in tune with the news. Cause I remember watching these when I was a little bit uh like new to K-pop and not knowing what was going on and not understanding all of the news and stuff like that. So it's just cool to be able to understand the news and um just enjoy it. Enjoy K-pop, enjoy everything that it got to offer. And 2025 gonna be such an amazing year. New jigs cannot end. I ain't gonna lie. They got me wanting to go out there to the high building and, and cause a ruckus, nigga. Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, that, that's even a possibility, like, bro. And they talking about some don't worry. Nigga, what do you mean don't worry? Nigga, you talking about some disbanding, nigga? What the f 